Welcome back to the channel guys, David Harris here. We're on this little Cape style house, reoccurring customer per usual. Gonna grab my ladder here. I just did some gutters, helm, already soaked up from right here and right around. Um, I got a little balcony deck thing in the back. I'm gonna use this ladder here so we can go tape it up. So on this house here guys, got a lot of mold on the decks here, on the siding. And this deck here is pretty bad. I think I did this house, how many years ago? Three years ago now. And these rear shingles here, they were so worn out that it actually turned out, like they turned out like almost like regular cedar shingles, like natural wood after I sprayed them last time. See what happens this time, it still looks like the same thing may happen because the paint is very worn compared to the other sides. Let me set this ladder up here. Tape up that outlet up there. And get Ugh. Hate these ladders. These ladders are nice, but after you get your bleach in them, they're not that great. Property protection action. Never hurt nobody. All right. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe just go get that pump sprayer. Yeah. I know you gotta leave it on there for a while. The thing is, too, is that the paint's worn, too. You know what I mean? So I think a lot of it is coming off. It's just this fucking worn paint. Yeah, like, do that, and then... Oh, do you already switch it over? Yeah. All right, well, just wait a minute. You can switch it back. All right, wetting all this here. Some soap on it. You can see these ones are kind of more brightening up than having the paint on it, like the other ones. All right, guys, we got um, most of this whole house all soaked up. And yes, we did keep going back with the pressure washer. Well, Callum did and kept rinsing plants after applying soap. So we're all set to just rinse it down. Um, we didn't mind leaving the chemical on the windows because we were brushing up the windows afterwards, which is good because then you can just let it sit on there, no big deal. The customer did take out the rest of these screens in the back here, like you see I'm spraying here. Then, yep, rinse down some plants some more. We just keep rinsing the plants. Keep hitting up the windows. Rinsing the plants. No matter what you do, just keep rinsing plants. Especially if you're not going to be putting a tarp over them. Um, we even bring clear plastic with us, though. Like, say you have um, some delicate flowers and stuff like that. So, the like, a tarp's pretty heavy, especially after you use it a bunch of times. So, it's good to have something nice and light. So you don't like break all their flowers and stuff because you're better off. I mean, you definitely should still pre-rinse with some water and then, you know, water them afterwards. But, you know, only put it on right where you're applying the chemical. Apply your chemical and take it off, you know, just so you don't burn them to death as well. And here, here comes some fun.
Maybe it's out of, I don't know. Oh, it's out of water. That's why. Yep, that'll happen when you're dumping out 18 gallons a minute, guys. Um, I mean, obviously, it's not a constant 18 gallons a minute, of course, right? But, I mean, when you are when you are using two machines like that, you probably are at least hitting out a constant flow of one of the machines. Like, so you would be doing 8 or 10 gallons a minute, like, all the time. So, our source from the house is probably only like on this location it stunk it was probably like three or four gallons a minute we don't really time it but i can just tell from how much it weighs i don't know after you do it for a while you just like know what's coming out of there guys it's weird um <laughs> you know but uh yeah that's how you get your brush off the deck you just whip it off pro tip <laughs> i'm just kidding that's how you break your uh equipment really but yeah this deck was probably the dirtiest part of this whole entire house guys and with decks i always uh like to treat them with a little extra um you know maybe take a rag wipe down some spots that you see afterwards and stuff because guys the deck and also a very good point would be right when they walk out the front door that whole entire area no matter if there's nothing there but a flat wall just everything that's right in the front, right when they walk out that door, whatever door they're using, garage doors especially, that is very important. Uh, I usually get the roof mix, spray that on it in a, in a pump sprayer on the weather stripping around the doors. Uh, works out great, takes that stuff right off if the uh, downstream mix doesn't work out for you. Sometimes they're a little tricky, you know? And um, yeah, we use our blue brush like always. And we brush up our windows just to get all those sills nice and clean. Yes, the house wash mix usually does them 100%, but not all the time. And I really like to get the real grime off the windows and off the frames and inside where the tracks were on the screens. But that's just me. That's our company. That's how we do it. Um, yeah, so guys, yes, yeah, pretty good job right here. Nothing too crazy, but we did run out of some water. Not fun. We will see you guys on the next one. Peace out, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe.